evening and welcome to the inaugural Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire Girls Fire Camp graduation ceremony. Right. <laughs> My name is Lisa Epps Kuda and I will be your mistress of ceremony for tonight's program. It is my pleasure to recognize Brooke Clark. Gabrielle Minton DeSaro. Angel DePondulin. Isabella Farrow. Ajada Jetter, <laughs> Samantha Vitmeyer, <laughs> and Demaya Reynolds. <laughs> These seven amazing young ladies exemplified strength, courage, determination, and the willingness to face any challenge we place before them this week. At this time, the cadet class will demonstrate the firefighter physical ability exam. There are five events a firefighter cadet must pass as part of the testing process to become a firefighter. Number one is the flexible event. Number two is the victim rescue event. Number three is the forcible entry event. Number four is the stair climb event. And number five is the hose hoist event. Rhonda Shirell is going to read the instructions for each event as the candidate dis um, demonstrates it. Isabella Farrow. All right, so flexibility event. So you will stand with your back to the wall and your feet shoulder width apart. On command, you will bend forward while bending your knees only slightly and touch the rectangle on the ground with both hands at the same time. Then you will straighten up and twist and touch the rectangle on the wall with both hands. This is one cycle. The next cycle is the same, except that in touching the rectangle on the wall, you will twist in the opposite direction. You will continue to alternate the side to which you twist on each successive cycle. All right, are you ready? Begin. All right, you have passed. <laughs> this event will use a 155 pound articulated rope dummy, approximately five, five in length. The starting position of the dummy will be at the yellow line of the head of the dummy. You will stand at the head of the dummy. When I say begin, you will lift the dummy from a lying down position to a sitting position by grasping the rope loop at the back of the dummy. You will then drag the dummy through the course. You ready? Begin. Good job, girls. All right, the forcible entry event. All right, so this event will be simulated of forcible entry performed by using a Kaiser Force machine. You will straddle the track with one foot on the left and one foot on the right. You will stand at the edge of the diamond plate tread walk rails, which are nine inches from the ground. 
standing in an upright position with a sledgehammer down and in front of you. When I say begin, you will pick up the nine pound sledgehammer and hit the 10 by 10, three foot long, 165 pound steel beam five, five feet, driving it along the distance of the track. You must keep your hands together on the sledgehammer when hitting the steel beam. Are you ready? Begin. Keep going, keep going. All right, you got it. You got it. Good job. Do it, you can do it from. You ready? Begin. All right, Brooke. Good job. All right, so next is the stair climb event. All right, so you will arrange the straps on the high rise pack approximately 50 pounds so you are comfortable. You may twist the straps together or leave them loose. You will pick up the high rise pack from the floor, put it on your preferred shoulder, and move to the yellow line on the floor. When I say begin, you will climb five flights of stairs until you see the painted five on the door in front of you. Surrounded by green arrows, you will place your hand on the five, turn around, and go back down the stairs. You will place, not throw, the high-rise pack back on the floor in the same place where you picked it up. The event is complete when the high-rise pack is placed back in the original position. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Begin. Great job, Ajayna. All right, the last event is the hose hoist event. In this event, you will hoist a 45 and three quarter pound rolled hose from the ground up to the fifth floor window by pulling a five inch Kern Mansell rope over a hose roller. Wearing you will stand behind the yellow line on the floor. When I say begin, you will climb five flights of stairs to the fifth floor. When you reach the fifth floor, you will enter the room on the left and go to the window. You will grasp the rope with both hands and using a hand over hand motion, you will pull the rope to raise the hose up to the fifth floor window. You will continue to pull the rope until your hand touches the tape placed on the rope. This tells you that you have hoisted the hose to the fifth floor. You will hold you will hold the rope steady until the proctor takes the rope from your hands. You will then go back down to the first floor where this event began. The event is complete when you cross the yellow line on the first floor. Are you ready? You may begin.
let's have a hand for these wonderful young ladies here. All right. Okay. We will now have welcoming remarks by Chief Daryl Jones. Thank you, Lisa. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, what can we say about this, huh? <laughs> so, Lisa comes into my office all the time, and if you can look at her, she's always has this perpetual smile on her face. Even on days when I don't feel like smiling, she comes in with this big smile on her face, and I'm like, would you knock that off? I'm just not in the mood for it. And she comes, Chief, you know, we got a problem, but there's not enough women on the job. I said, well, thanks for telling me that, Lisa. I hadn't re recognized that you were the only black female I had on the job. And she goes, well, I have an idea. I said, what's that? She says, we should do a girls' fire camp. I said, hmm. Bunch of young ladies running around us firefighters. What can go wrong there? <laughs> yes, but she kept persisting that we can do this. And she brought in documentation of things that, where other organizations have tried this. And I said, Lisa, I got enough stuff on my plate. This is all yours. You tell me what you need. I'll make sure you have the resources, but this is all yours. So ladies and gentlemen, Master Firefighter Lisa Epps. <laughs> to our first group of campers, I was just teasing you guys just a little bit ago that you've just finished one week and you have 31 more weeks to go. <laughs> because that's how long it takes to earn the privilege to wear this patch on your sleeve. Let me tell you, I look so forward to shaking your hand as you cross the stage and handing you your badge, designating you as a member of the most elite and best firefighting organization in the world the Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire. Yes. To the family, thank you. Yes. Thank you for letting us have your daughters, your love, uh, the love of your lives for the past week. Uh, hopefully, we made a positive impact. Yes, you have. Thank you. And I'm hoping that some of these ladies will continue with this drive uh, through either the CTC program in Pittsburgh Public Schools or some other format where one day I will be shaking their hand, smiling with you and taking pictures as we welcome them to the Pittsburgh Bureau of Family, the Fire Family. Thank you very much. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Melvin Eel and uh, with a message from Mayor Ganey. Thank you, Chief. How's everybody feeling? Great. How's everybody feeling? Great. I'm gonna ask you one more time. When I ask you this time, would you say fire it up? You understand? Okay. How's everybody feeling? Fire it up. How's everybody feeling? Fire we're at a celebration today, and we should be all fired up for these seven wonderful, beautiful, get down sisters over here. Give it up for them. Yeah. I have the privilege and honor to be on behalf of Mary Ed Ganey. And uh, being in this, this role, it's always a pleasure to come to something like this. And uh, just wanted to say that uh, I told him before they came out some of the things he said to me about them. And I'm going to repeat them here in front of everybody else. Is that all right? Yes. Is that all right? Yes. All right, let me hear you out here. He is very proud of them. And he feels this is the foundation for the future of women coming into the Bureau. So i like to say on behalf of Mary Ganey, I have to get it out here. I have five things I told him I'd make sure I'd say to you. I keep them with me. And i like for you to repeat it after me, all right? Could y'all stand up, please? And these things are, I am resilient. I am resilient. 
I love myself. I am present. I have purpose. And I won't quit. Give it up for him. Won't quit. I have a proclamation that was developed for this occasion from the mayor's office and uh, also what's inside this proclamation is certainly something that came from the heart of Sister Lisa here. So give it up for her because I used her words and put this in, in here. Now I did put a few of my words in here too, but most of this comes from the, from the heart and mind and the pen uh, of, of Sister Lisa there. And uh, what I'd like for you to do is help me out with this. I call this the RICO. And the RICO is because the RICO, Jay I'm gonna tell over here, give him a hand to Brother RICO over here. And how this developed was, we honored him about a month and a half ago, might be two months ago, and uh, when I walked into the room, I had a certain feeling when I walked in the room, that we had to do something different tonight. The electricity was just different. And so that night, the RICO was born. So I try to do that every time I get an opportunity around folks I think who would appreciate it. So what the RICO is, it's called a call and response kind of activity here. There's whereas in this, in this proclamation. When I say whereas, I want you to say the young, the gifted, and the determined. Can you hand me with that? Whereas? The young, the gifted, and the determined. All right, now, the first whereas is mine. All right? After that, it's your turn. So here we go. City of Pittsburgh's Office of the Mayor, a proclamation, young, gifted, and determined, celebrating the inaugural class of Pittsburgh Girls Fire Camp, Friday, August 26, 2022. Whereas, young, gifted, and determined. That was mine. I was just waiting till y'all got done, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna try again. Whereas, the Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire created a girls' fire camp with the, fi with the primary focus of exposing young women to a possible career as a Pittsburgh firefighter. And whereas, the program recognizes the need to close the gender gap that currently exists in the Bureau of Fire. It encourages young women to break down gender stereotypes by pursuing a, a career as a firefighter. And whereas, and whereas, y'all got to whip it now, we'll try it down here. The camp's focus on empowering young women is vital to building a workforce reflective of Pittsburgh population in the Bureau of Fire. Firefighters engage with the community every day and help ensure safety for all. Therefore, bringing in people of different backgrounds, gender identities, and perspectives enhances the city's ability to better serve their community. And whereas, the curriculum for this camp is designed to challenge participants while building their confidence and courage. Now I say one thing about confidence and courage. Now when, them, when they walked up to those exercises, did you see that confidence in them? Yes. I did too. Yes. They will experience team building exercises, learn about the importance of nutrition, health, and fitness, try on fire gear, complete obstacle courses, learn CPR, and experience a day in the life of a firefighter. And whereas, Yo, and whereas, Yo, come on with it. One more time, whereas this inaugural class is described as a determined, focused, strong, enthusiastic, engaged, and motivated. The mayor is proud to honor Brooke. Where's Brooke at? Stand up, Brooke, when I call your name. Brooke, Gabriella, Angel, Isabella, Ajeda, Samantha. And Demaya, as the inaugural class of Pittsburgh Girls Fighter. Therefore, I, not me, but Ed Ganey, Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh, do hereby proclaim August 26, 2022, as the Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire inaugural Girls Camp Fire Day in the City of Pittsburgh. Give it up for them, please. Now, what I'd like to do before y'all sit down, I want to bring these over to you and hand them to you. So I can take a picture with them in your hands. So I ain't got to wait till afterwards. So please stand and bring these to you. I'll just get one to take home to share with your families. All right, give it up. 
I just want to present this officially to Sister Lisa here. This is for you, Sister Lisa. Come on up here. And uh, that's from the mayor for you, for all you've done and continue to do for our city. Thank Congratulations. you very much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're So you know, ladies and gentlemen, in emergency management, we talk about involving the whole community when it comes time to preparing for and managing a disaster. And the whole community and good governance means that we have to use everyone that's available. Not only government, but the private sector and especially the faith-based sector of our community. And this was no exception. When we started this, we didn't know who was going to help us, how we were going to do it. Lisa was coming in, throwing stuff at the wall, literally. <laughs> some of it was sticking, some of it wasn't. And she happened to go and do a visit, and I get a phone call, she says, Chief, I'm up at Ebenezer Baptist Church. You got to see this. All the programs that they're doing. So she scheduled a meeting. I go up there and took a tour of it and said, yes, would you at Ebenezer please help us? Because we throw water on fire for a living. Organizing girls camps is not what we do. We need some help. So I would like to recognize Ebenezer Baptist Church And thank you for your assistance, your leadership, and your guidance in this. Will someone come up as a representative and accept this, please? Okay, all of you come up. Eric. It says, presented to Ebenezer Outreach Ministries in appreciation and recognition for your partnership in the inaugural Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire Girls Camp, August 22 to 26, 2022. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, at this time, I would like for our, 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 our campers, the cadets, to come up here, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to present them with their certificates. Just to let you know, not only the skills that you saw them demonstrate just now for part of the program, they were also trained in CPR, automatic electronic defibrillators, and stop the bleed by our EMS Bureau, and I, we have something for them there, too. For the Certificate of Achievement, Brooke Clark. Gabriella Minton DeSaro. Angel Epondulin, Isabella Farrow, 
you. Ajada Jetter. Samantha Wittmeyer. And Demaya Reynolds. May I have all the instructors, please? As you know, we only have four females in the Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire out of over 750 firefighters. So I think we need to recognize these ladies. Could you please introduce yourself? Judy put up, Carrie Burnham, and Lieutenant Lindsey Biller. We have a special presentation to our cadets. While they're getting that together, just a quick word about our instructors. Uh, highly skilled, highly motivated. Two of them are company officers, which means they lead teams of people, at least four people. Uh, the third one is an art driver operator who operates a uh, half million dollar rig with all the technology and everything on there. These ladies have earned their place here. I would ask him to get me a cup of coffee, but I'd probably get knocked out, so that's why I said that. We were trying to think of a good present to give the girls, something that signifies strength, encouragement. So we came up with a flame necklace. This flame is to signify passing the flame to the next generation of girls. So we are going to pass it on and let them know that no matter what, we will be there for you. We will be your mentors. So if you fall, we will be there to pick you up. We're just a phone call away. Okay? Thank you, Chief, to everyone. Okay, we would like to thank everyone, all of our sponsors and those people who made this possible. So I'm gonna try to remember everyone. I have their names here that helped us with the sponsorship. Ebenezer Outreach Ministries, thank you so much for everything that you did you. to help us in this. The City of Pittsburgh Office of the Mayor at Ganey, thank you so much for your sponsorship. Council President Teresa Kell Smith as well. She was very um, effective and helped us. The City of Pittsburgh Fire Bureau and the administration team, thank you for, for making the bulletins and just being there and helping us. The City of Pittsburgh EMS as well, they helped us. Thank you so much, Raina. Uh, Detective Leftwood, she did the polygraph demonstration. Uh, Waterfront Embroidery, they provided all the t-shirts for the girls. Angela Mike with the CTE program. She gave us a tour of the ERT program at Westinghouse. Amanda, Kara, Trisha, Maurice, our PIO officers and social media, thank you all for what you do. WPXI, they did a superb coverage. Did you see the coverage they did for us? It was unbelievable. The Post Gazette and the Pittsburgh Courier, they also followed us. Chief Raleigh and the training staff, thank you so much. And Chief Cox and engine and, um, engine and Truck Company, they gave us a house tour yesterday, which was phenomenal. 
And Carol with Minio's Pizza, she donated eight pizzas, so we have something to eat afterwards. Rhonda, Sherelle, thank you so much, HR business partner. We appreciate you. And last but not least, the Pittsburgh Pirates, they donated pirate tickets for us. And our union, Ralph Sakura, our president. Thank you so much for your support. Great, thank you all for coming. Uh, Pittsburgh, congratulations. We heard that you have created a Girls on Fire camp. And so from all of us here at Chicago Fire, we just want to say, stay, stay strong, strong and good luck. luck.